Welcome. Hello, folks. Well, each year I have flown some of my indoor flying machines for the Sibley Ocheden junior high school students from Mr. Tucci's science class. Well, many of the students have never actually seen me fly any of my machine outdoors, and two that I was not able to fly indoors this year as I did not have enough time to sort them out, including this RC flying truck and my eSky 900 helicopter. So here's some glimpses of my favorite machines that I fly. This way you get an idea what they actually look like flying. And as usual, it was really great to introduce RC flying to the students in hopes that one day they will also be inspired to get into flying and or become the next Elon Musk, Ben Franklin, or Wright brother. You'll see that I added some other shots of these machines from different flights to add clarity and close-ups of what they look like and what the students saw since I didn't use my head cam today. So relax, and here we go. Zoe's got something new, kind of an innovator in remote control things. Um, He's going to explain a little bit about how the wing works, how the helicopter works. We saw just a little bit about that yesterday. And then he's going to spend most of his time flying some of this stuff and showing you how it works. So, uh, this is Dave Herbert, and his wife will be doing some filming. I forgot your name. Adelia. Adelia. Okay, and with a little luck, we'll be on YouTube here in the next week or so. Not me. Sure. All right. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How about an introduction like that? It makes me sound interesting. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're going to talk a little bit this morning about how a helicopter actually works. The blade on a helicopter is just like a wing. It's got the same shape as a wing. And the only difference is, with an airplane, fly forward the faster you go to the middle of helicopter, the blade actually spins around, and that creates lift. And by changing the pitch on it, creates more lift, which makes it go up and down. This way. Okay.
So those only remote control, they don't have full size. Good question, Mr. Tucci. Well, this is me standing next to the HOK-1 or the HH-43 Cayman, but many helis like the CH-46 and Osprey are also counter-rotating. They actually do, too. They were tipped out sideways, and that's how they work. But by spinning the, uh, by spinning the, going down one way, it makes a turn. It makes a turn. Okay. What I did is I took the top blades off, turned them upside down, put them on the bottom. I fly close because the blades are completely enclosed with these machines, but still, Iowans have no fear. This is the smallest 
like that in the world. I need a volunteer for the disco ball. I'm just sure. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to get it. Jack wants to. Okay, that's close. Get it! Okay, students, I hope you saw something in this video to inspire you to get involved with RC and invent something for our future, too. 
Well, thanks for inviting me again this year, Mr. Tucci, and thanks to Ilea for her camera work and assistance. And please, folks, subscribe for more fun from Mr. Herbert's science class. Goodbye.